You know, I get this question all of the time. How to be successful? What are the secrets? What should you do? There's so many questions and it hit me and I, I, I reversed engineered some of the things that I've looked upon, some of the things I've done. And I know this is gonna sound really, really crazy, but one of the first things you will have to do is stop searching for the secret of success and start creating your formula for success because there's not just one way to be successful. There's not just one way. There's several different ways to be successful and if you take someone else's way, okay, uh, many people want to do the things that I'm doing. Go ahead and start a YouTube channel or write an ebook or create online courses, which is all well and good. But is that the thing for you? Have you even asked yourself that question? Because I'm at this place in life. I am no longer trying to lead the lead people to what I consider to be a better life or what I consider to be a good way to make money or a better way to make money when they have no desire to do that. I cannot create desire. I cannot build desire. That's something that's an internal mechanism. That, that's internally driven. I can't do that, and I've been trying to do that, and that's one of the reasons, oddly enough, that I get so much hate. Because there are some people who will do resale for the rest of their life. And they'll be happy with it. They won't make as much money as they can, but that is not their goal in life. That's not what they're after. They are, it's, it's like I said, I'm coming to so many different levels of understanding that when a person has a belief or a belief system or a belief loop and you are trying to put something in that system loop or belief that disrupts the whole apple cart, holy moly, you are, you're right up there with rapists and child abusers and molesters because you're molesting their belief system. That is sacred. That's a sacred cow. So I'm done with that. Uh, even with the email list that I've created. Very segmented, very small, very targeted. Working like a charm. Because I'm done with that. So as I am done with that, excuse me, I believe you should be done with what I call the constant search for success. I don't read books or biographies anymore, any of that stuff anymore for, you know, as to learn about how to be successful. I do read certain technical manuals and full disclosure, I've read a lot of those things years ago, quite a few. So probably more than the average person, but at some point you've got to stop searching for success and start creating success because, you know, once again, you know, it, the, the storage auction thing, the book, it caught me completely by surprise. I knew it would be successful, didn't know how successful it was. And, oh yeah, there's something else that I want to address. If you are a person, because I'm going to tell you a really good story here in a second. If you are a person that if someone says that they're successful and that makes you feel small, if that belittles you, or that insults you, or you just can't stand it, then you don't think too much of yourself. Because whenever I come across someone who's more successful than me, and there's millions of people more successful than me, I'm like, cool, what you do? Can you drop some knowledge my way? Okay, okay. I'm happy for them. And that came because I experienced a certain level of success. But if you instantly see someone and don't like them or you put on your hate shirt and you got your hate cap on, that is a reflection of your own inadequacy. 
I know you're like, no, it's not. No, it's not, Glendon. No, it's not. I hate you because I don't like you. You should not be talking about that you're making more money, that you're more successful. No, I don't even say those things. I I'm amazed at how much stuff is attributed to me that I've never said. But the point I make to you is, and this all ties in to the best way to be successful is action. That is the best way to be successful to take action. Even if you fail, you will be better off than if you sat around and did nothing. Substantially better off than if you did nothing. And this is something that's really hard for many people to understand because, once again, in this search for success, looking for the secret, looking for the optimum way to be successful, without um, jumping into the fire, without putting out some, some sweat equity, without trying, you put yourself in a state of status. You're not really do you exist, but you're not going forward. You're not necessarily going back with either. You're just in this orbit of sameness. You, you don't move forward, you don't create new energy, you don't create new relationships, you're just doing the same old thing. And if you understand science, the natural order of the universe is atrophy, which means shit falls apart. So if you're just being the same, you're actually slowly decaying in your orbit. So you have to constantly take action. Now I met this guy when I was doing something wrong. I was uh, having... Uh, I don't know if, you, if you're if you familiar with Marietta. This place has been there forever called Betty's Hot Dogs. And I go there maybe two or three times a year. Get you your slaw dog. You know, with the bun. they're spiced up. They're hot. And you got your chili slaw burger and mustard and all that stuff. I love it, love it, love it. I only go, like I said, three or four times a year. So I go in there this Friday. And I meet this guy named Bobby. Bobby's an older guy. And we just started talking and vibing. And, you know, I tell him what I do. And th this is something that is really just shocking sometimes to me. And he, like, it's like, oh, man, I'm so proud of you. Here's this guy I never met. I don't even know how old he is. I'm thinking he's 60-something, 70-something because he's retired. And we just started talking about stuff. And then I just started telling him some stuff like why I left, you know, the town I left. And we had this thing. And he said, you're talking my story. Because... When I meet people who are happy with themselves, who've done their best, when I talk about, hey, I wrote a book, I started a YouTube channel, I got these online courses, it's not the hate fest. It's more of like, wow, dude, congratulations. But if you can't say congratulations to someone who's doing well, once again, that is a reflection of your own inadequacy or what may not even be an inadequacy, it's just the way that you see yourself just the way you see yourself. So we, we talk about some more stuff. Then he tells me, his older gentleman, a black gentleman, how he worked himself up through IBM. He took an electronics correspondence course. Once again, he took action. And he got in there. And he, you know, and he had to, uh, and I had a real honest conversation with him because we talked about everything, you know, including racism. And I said, look, the racism that you had to deal with I don't have to deal with, and I'm not going to act like I have to deal with it. He said, that's right. And then he started to say something else. He, he told me that he doesn't have many friends his age because they're just stuck in their ways. You know, he likes to keep his mind young. He goes to webinar seminars, and he does stuff. And he said, a lot of those folks are just stuck in one spot, and they, they just will not do anything else. So he tells me this story because he took this correspondence course, electronics correspondence course, applied for the job for IBM and got it. And he said they made him take the test not once, not twice, but three times because they couldn't believe how well he scored. Now that's part of the racism that he had to deal with. He had to be better. So he was in the break room, right? And this, this guy come up, big white guy, and he's like, look, you know, you should be grateful that uh, we let you up in here. And then he went and sat down and then Bobby went over there and said look I had to pass not one not two but three tests but you got in here passing one and your scores were probably not as high as mine I earned my way in here then he sat down now I love that story because 
essentially, once again, he took action. He didn't just sit back and go, oh, they being racist. And then uh, he told me some other ways. And this is a very important lesson for all y'all. When he got the job, he took difficult task. He went to his boss and there was this one account that was just, you know, really, really difficult. So he goes in there, right? And uh, he talks to the guy and he asks the guy, like, what's the problem? It's like, well, we got these machines. They're the most advanced things we've got. It's very complex. It's, um, so Bobby goes in there and says, every Monday, I'm going to come to your office with this manual. And we're going to go over this manual and I'm going to teach you how this stuff works. And then the man is like, IBM Confidential. And he's like, oh, don't worry about that. So he goes in there. All the problems stop. Now, the thing is, because the guy is no longer calling his boss anymore, his boss goes in there and is like, you know, I think we're going to lose this account. And then Bobby's like, what? What happened? I don't understand. Nobody said anything to me. So he goes in there, talks to the man that has been calling him for months with all these problems, and he's in the man's office maybe 10 minutes. And he comes out, and he says, oh, he says, he doesn't call me anymore. He says, he's got any problems. He comes to you. And then uh, Bobby gets a bigger account. Once again, he took action. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is there's a man in the 40s and 50s, a black man, who had to go through all kinds of hell to be successful. And not once did he go, oh, fuck it. Not once did he whine or bitch. He took action. Then he uh, retired from IBM. And then he said the year that he retired because of all the things he's done, it was the most money he's ever made because he took action. He didn't wait for someone to teach him. And uh, he was telling me about the correspondence courses and all the math and stuff that was in there. And he said he just loved that stuff. He took action. But many of you out there are waiting for success to come to you without taking any action, without redesigning who you are because if who you are was going to get it done, it would be done. I couldn't do the things that I'm doing here and talking to you and having this channel if I stayed the same person I was 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Each decade, I reinvent myself. Hence, another reason. Because I take so much action and there are people out there who take no action or who are only doing what I call lowball action. Just enough to get by. It's like, oh, he's doing this. He's changing. He's switching this. You know, he's doing this. No, I'm not. I am pushing forward. I am creating a higher level of success. But because you're looking at me through your hate eyes, the fact that you're not successful, the fact that you started a YouTube channel and tried to get views and nobody wanted to watch your janky ass, apparently I got to be doing something unscrupulous or crazy or something because you can't do it. See, this thing is, I take action more so than mostly anyone else in this genre on these ch on YouTube. I take more action than anyone. More videos than anyone. That's what gets me by. More action. Taking action. Not being the smartest person. Because the thing is, I know that if I outwork you, I will beat you. And many people don't understand that because they're lazy. So if you want to be successful, take action. Put yourself to out there where you are making it rain. You create your own fortune. You create your own paradise and your own success. Because understand, that's your job. It's not anyone else's job. It's your job. And that's something that many, many people just do not seem to understand. Because, and I got a theory here. I have a theory. And I've talked about it quite a bit. A lot of it goes back to how you were raised. And if you were raised in a community where there were people not taking a lot of action, where people were comfortable with uh, doing whatever, where people were comfortable with being mediocre, or where people were comfortable with nothing, or where people pretended to be happy when they didn't have shit, more than likely you'll go through life and develop those same attributes because this is a truism. If you do not actively avoid it, you will become your parents. You will. And in some cases, that's great. Some people have awesome parents, great role models, great people to aspire to. Everyone doesn't have great parents. There's a lot of folks who have shitty-ass parents. That's just reality. But you're not supposed to say that. 
And I'm going to say something else. A lot of us were not planned. Our parents were just fucking. Many of you were the product of a Saturday night special. You know it, I know it, but nobody wants to say it. And then all of a sudden after you're born, then it's like, ah, you're this most beautiful thing. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So if you had like a shitty upbringing and certain things were said to you as a child, more than likely you were not wanted. Now I know that's a harsh truth to take. And the reason I'm bringing it to you in this uh, video to be successful is many people are stuck in their childhood and don't know it. Many of the reasons that you can't be successful stem from your childhood and the lack of dealing with those issues. And until you deal with them, you're going to stay stuck. You're going to be in that stasis mode, that orbit of sameness, year after year, decade after decade, wondering what the hell happened to your life. That's just something that you have to understand. I came to that conclusion uh, roughly around age 22. It took me another eight years to wrap my head around it because it's a damning truth. It's a very damning truth. But once you accept it, deal with it, then you can build on that bullshit. But as long as you don't, as you're calling bullshit gold or you're calling this stuff that's really not good, but you say, well, it's good. You know, like the theme song from Good Times. If you listen to the lyrics, the song is horrible. It's deplorable. But people happy with that stuff. And I'm saying, you don't have to be happy with uh, mediocrity. You don't. You don't have to be. It's just a matter of setting your mind to take action. Once you start to take a lot of action, you will see big changes in your life. A lot of changes in your life. Amazing changes in your life. But once again, it's about taking action and it's about stepping up and being accountable to your success. As long as you think your success is something that's just going to come to you or something that you're entitled to, you will suffer from the lack of being all that you can be. It will. It's just the facts. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next session. Hold tight. I got another message for those who stayed to the end of the video. Okay, for those of you who stayed here till the end of the video, this is what's going down. You have until November 6, 11.59 p.m. to get the site-wide deal. So let's start off with what's going down. $25 hustle, stack, flip, cash out, the mindset course, 30 days to 2500, the original business building course. Local Hustles, Hustling Craigslist to Enter Game, the Craigslist Marketing Course, and Becoming the Boss, 30 Days to 2500, Fast Start, your Credit Course, Disruptive Money, Personal Money Management, Disruptive Mating, Child Support, and these are just, you'll get the first podcast and blog post, discussion box, and affiliate offers. Now, let's go back to the beginning. You get all of that for $450 plus these courses that are coming. Pre-sale means that they're on the development map, but they aren't there yet, but they're coming. Just to let you know, plus that will qualify you, this deal, for everything that's on this site and everything that is coming. So that deal disappears November 6, 11.59 p.m. Now, there's something new here. I'm going to go in here and show it to you. And let's get in here. This is a brand new blog. I'm showing you all the back end stuff. And we will go here. Yeah, it's so secret, you can't even see it. And this is Hustle Teams. What I'm going to do is put together accountability partners there'll be more information here for those of you because if you sign up for the deal before november 6 you will also get the hustle team which as you can see it's 150 250 and samurai's 800 but you will get the hustle team silver or nomad as we call it so this is the deal you get all of this and this 
for $450 until November 6, 11.59 p.m. So just letting you know and right there. Once you come in, you can click that, check it out. Once my internet decides to do what it's going to do, since there's so many things going on right now. There we go. And you get that. So with that, I'll see you in the next session.